it's interesting. I, so, I mean, Aristotle's taken up there and Stoicism and so forth. So he, he really is kind of an, he's an attempt to gather together the whole of ancient philosophy according to an organizing principle. What is the principle? The good. <laughs> and so, and then this, this connects to the, the other point that you were just making about making it practical and, and, and recognizing that this, has to do with the way we live our lives and so forth. I, th I think one of the great traditions that one can receive from going back to this, you know, ancient tradition is recognizing that the that the order comes not through one's own kind of self, you know, efforts at self mastery or or trying to I'm trying to make myself be like this. I'm trying to overcome this problem. You you end up fighting with yourself and and. You know, the problem with fighting with yourself is that you always lose, I mean, by definition. Whereas what, 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 what Plato, I think one of the, the fundamental insights and one of the, the things that makes his philosophy so powerful, in addition to just its brilliance, but just powerful, is recognizes the way that beauty and goodness draw us you know, bring us to order so that, that, that we're, we're struck. And, you know, it's, it, this would be, if, you know, you mentioned the Chris, this would be like the, the philosophic version of grace that, that, that there's a, there's a, um, the, the, the love of, of, of goodness and beauty actually serves to bring together and bring, you know, introduce order into the soul and bring together the various parts of one's, one's, fragmented personality, inevitably, you know, fractured personality, bring them to order. So it's, I think that's, that's uh, be a very healing thing to recognize. I think the interesting thing about Plato as well, that he kind of uses the metaphor in the Republic of that, that organization of the self is the organization of the city. 